Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. And today's video is about how I was paid in counterfeit money and I had no clue for about a week. So stay tuned. This is when we got a call. This was about a year and a half ago. 2005 Honda Accord had some suspension problems. They wanted both axles replaced. So we go out there. Once on scene, I meet this guy named Chris. And Chris, let's just be honest, Chris looks like a crackhead, right? But cash is cash. What I did was I got full payment up front. So he paid, I was like, all right, straight, let's do this. It was 280 bucks for me to do both axles. All right, once we're doing both axles, I noticed, I think a wheel bearing. So we talk and I tell him what's going on. You know, it's gonna add more money to it. He says, all right, let's do it. I had to take him to the store because I had his car all tore apart. We go up there, he pays cash for the parts. Everything's good. Come back, I do the job. And I end up making about $400 off this job in about six hours. So I'm pretty happy for the day. I go home, everything's good. He's happy, I'm happy. And I, and I even thought to myself, I was like, damn, I judged that guy pretty bad by just the way he looked and shit. You know, and I kind of felt bad about myself for doing it. Later, I actually spent some of the money. I spent, I get some cigarettes, I get gas, you know. Well, I have a bank called USAA. And now I live in Ohio, so they don't actually have any buildings that you can walk into. You have to go get a money order and then do a mobile deposit, take a picture of the money order to put it in your checking account. I go to get the money order, give them the money. Next thing I know, the woman's calling the manager over. I didn't think nothing about it. But I did notice she had her little pen and she was marking the money, checking it, right? You know, they do that all the time. The manager asked me to come to the side. So they had an issue with the money order machine. It would take a minute. I said, all right. So I'm sitting there about 15 or 20 minutes later. He comes back out. He says, sir, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah, sure. He goes, well, you gave us 400 or five, I think it was $500 even. You gave us $500. Only 200 of it's real. You gave us $300 in counterfeit money. And the guy was like mad about it. And I was like, bro, I don't know. At first I didn't believe him. I said, ah, just give me my money back. This dude would not give me the counterfeit money back. I didn't even believe him. I said, just give it back to me. You know, and he's like, no, I'm not giving it back to you. I'm going to call the cops. And, you know, so we're kind of arguing about it. So finally he pulls out the money to prove it to me. Because I think this dude's just trying to steal my money. Well, he pulls it out. And he starts marking it with his little pen. And sure enough, it's different than the other one. One turned brown, one turned yellow. I said, there's no way. I just got that out of the ATM. And he's like, no, the banks that wouldn't have money like that. You know, so now he thinks I'm lying to him about it. He thinks I'm trying to pass money off on purpose, right? So once he does prove to me it's counterfeit, I'm like, whatever, I just leave. I actually contact the bank, the ATM that I got it out of, which was PNC. I contact them and told them what was going on and they told me that it was impossible but they'll do like an investigation. Well I don't hear nothing back. Ever. Never heard nothing back. But after about a week sitting there I get a five star review. And the five star review is from the guy that I did the axles from. And then it clicks. I'm like ah that mother. He gave me counterfeit money. That was the only other money that I had. One came from, from the bank. The other came from him. So this dude passed this money off. And then he bought the parts from AutoZone. So did he pass the money off to them? Or was he slick and paid them real money and gave me the counterfeit? So he got me good. Usually some of these stories, I end up all right. You know, karma comes back for me. Not this time, dude. He got the work from me. He got the money, the counterfeit money. I didn't even get to use the counterfeit. Like I couldn't even pass it off, try to get rid of it. Nope, got that taken from me. So I'm out left and right. So he got me good. I realized that where the money came from, I contacted this dude, but he never answered nothing. I even drove over to the house, ended up being not his house though. It was just like his buddy's house or something. So I never got to see this guy again. Haven't heard from him, so he got me good. Hey, we we'll hold the video. Make sure we get a camera. Thumbs up, yep. Yeah, what it was. Like and subscribe, yep. Bye. Peace out. Mm-hmm.